I think tearing things down that you don't like and disagree with um, is a really bad reflection of society because I think it promotes almost a sense of lawlessness. Like it was a really bad representation of the protests and what the protests are actually supposed to be about. In particular, I've seen a lot of people wanting to take the statue of Churchill down because, you know, he was a racist. I think there's a real difference between someone that profited off slavery and someone that had maybe bigoted views that were a great reflection of the time, but also for an even bigger racist and an even more dangerous racist, a gen genocidal maniac, Hitler. I think we have to make those distinctions. So I think we have to be really careful with where this conversation goes. We can acknowledge when there is an appetite for certain things to be removed, but some things are just a part of British culture and history and deserve to be celebrated. And I think the great Winston Churchill is a very big, big example of that one. It's just, you know, another example of why we can't keep pandering to these groups the minute they, you know, just say they want something cancelled or torn down. I think we have, you know, democratic processes for a reason. So if you want something removed, you campaign, you petition, you try and win elections, you don't just tear things down. I would draw the line at individuals that have made significant contributions to history. And I think that Churchill is a massive one of them. And even Emily Pankhurst, I mean, she had some pretty racist views in those times as well, but she was instrumental in giving women, I'm a woman, the right to vote. So I think we have to draw the line where that is concerned. When it comes to slave traders and people that kind of profit, profited off the, million, off the you know, torture, and pain of millions of people, my sympathy kind of run out, runs out. I don't think they should just be torn down and thrown in the water. I think they should be put in, in a museum. Personally, the way I would do it is, you know, I would kind of look at a local referendum of some kind where people can participate and vote on whether or not they want these monuments and statues taken down because at the end of the day, we live in a democracy. I will not support or indulge those who break the law or attack the police or desecrate public monuments. We have a democracy in this country. If you want to change the urban landscape, you can stand for election or vote for someone who will. And so I must say clearly that those who attack public property or the police, who injure the police officers who are trying to keep us all safe, those people will face the full force of the law.